Hey guys, welcome back to another RSK programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can implement an opacity gradient in HTML. So an opacity gradient is similar to a regular gradient. It goes from uh, one color to another, but the difference is here, the opacity gradient can actually be applied to any element and it essentially fades in the element. So I'll show you guys an example of what I mean. Let's say we have some text. Uh, let me just let me find this opacity gradient. So here's our text. I'm going to give this a different ID so that I can access it from here. And yeah, let's just put some constraints on this div so that the text creates a sort of box like this. All right. I'm going to add a few more lines. Okay, so let's say we wanted to make an opacity gradient for this, this div. Now, we could give this a regular background color, something like a linear gradient. Sorry, not background color, just regular one. And we could add in, going from red to blue, something like that, and that would just put it that will just fill up the entire background with a linear gradient. But now let's say we wanted to actually make this not have a background of linear gradient, but rather have a background or just fade in. So at the top, it's nice and opaque and we can see everything. But then as we get to the bottom, we want it to fade out. Well, to do that, what we can do is we can actually use same kind of linear gradient, except instead of setting a background, we can actually set the mask image. So the way masks work is black actually represents nothing and we can also use a color transparent. So black actually represents what we want to keep and we can use transparent. I think white will also work or if we use white and black, I think it's inverted. All right. Yeah. So we just have to use black and transparent. But yeah, the way masks work is black basically represents what you want to keep and transparent is pretty obviously just transparent. So as you can see, this linear gradient function works the same way as regular CSS. We can add a direction. So I could say to right and that would move it from starting at the left, going to right or to left or to top. And you can see it's just moving around direction. You can also add a custom, custom, angle but I'll just leave it as a default so starts at the top goes to the bottom and yeah so black represents what you want to keep transparent represents what you don't want and this is actually really cool because it lets you just add a mask over and create this opacity gradient so you can see if I were to give this div a background color such as I don't know, let's have light blue you can see that it starts off nice and opaque and then we slowly get into transparent mode. Now what I can do is make this last a bit longer uh, by telling it how long I want to keep this black for. So if I set 50% after this, this basically says I want to make the first 50% of this div completely visible and then it's only in the last 50% where the gradient kicks in and it starts to become transparent. So therefore I can make this effect more pronounced by just making a lot of the div opaque and then it's only the last bit which becomes transparent. So yeah, thanks for watching. That was how you implement a opacity gradient. And one last thing, if you want to maximize your, maximize, oh, what's the word? <laughs> maximize compatibility across platforms, then you sh should probably add WebKit. And I don't know if Moz also has it. Yeah, Moz doesn't has it, but WebKit, you should also add same thing, just so you can maximize your compatibility with different vendors. So yeah, thanks for watching, and this was how you implement a opacity gradient in HTML and CSS. See you guys in future tutorial. Bye.